In arguments, we sometimes run across the phenomenon of missing premises. Certain arguments that have missing premises or even conclusions are called enthymemes, which is a technical term that the great Greek philosopher Aristotle used to describe them. But why would anyone omit a premise from an argument? Because they assume that the missing premise is so obvious that it need not be stated. So, it's important to note that the principles of charity and faithfulness require that we explicitly state any missing premises when we reconstruct an argument. If I argue that you haven't taken any of the exams, so you won't pass, I'm leaving out a premise that I believe we can take for granted. But in reconstructing the argument, you haven't taken any of the exams, missing premise, you must take the exams to pass, conclusion, so you won't pass, I have to include the statement that you must take the exams to pass. We sometimes also have unstated conclusions, but these are much more rare. How about this argument? Any real man would have the guts to enlist for Iraq, but he won't. We need to explicitly state unstated conclusions as well, as in this example. The argument should be reconstructed as any real man would have the guts to enlist for Iraq. He won't enlist for Iraq. Missing conclusion, therefore, he's not a real man. As you can see, the author of the argument has excluded the conclusion for rhetorical effect. The author wants us to draw the conclusion that he's not a real man by ourselves. Let's do some exercises for enthymemes. I want you to identify the missing premises in the following arguments. Our proposals were not accepted since all the proposals in the green folder were rejected. So what's missing here? Well, here's the conclusion, therefore our proposal was not accepted. Here's the premise, all proposals in the green folder were rejected. And what's the missing premise? Obviously, that our proposal was in the green folder. Let's take a look at this. It's stupid to believe something when there's no evidence for it, so it follows that believing in angels is stupid. So the conclusion is that believing in angels is stupid. Here's the premise that we're given. It's stupid to believe something when there's no evidence for it. What's the missing premise? There's no evidence for angels. So I think you get the idea here. Here's another one. Spending money on listening to boring lectures is a waste of resources. It follows, therefore, that spending money on college is a waste of resources. Here's our conclusion. Spending money on college is a waste of resources. Obviously, in Reconstruction, we draw a line above the conclusion. Now we supply the premise that is stated. Spending money on listening to boring lectures is a waste of resources. And, of course, the missing premise is college consists only of boring lectures. Please continue on now to the third part of this multi-part lecture in Learning Module 2.